An Ocala family is grieving after someone shot and killed their dog with a pellet gun. TV 20's Zilali Solachi tells us why the dog owners want justice for their four-legged companion. We have a missing piece of our family now. Jennifer Davis and her family are mourning after their rescue dog named Valentine was killed Wednesday afternoon by someone with a pellet gun. The family came home during the early afternoon to find their 13-year-old Chihuahua bleeding in the driveway. I'm hurt. I'm devastated. You know, my three-year-old, she doesn't even know what's going on, but that was her best friend. You know, they, they bonded together. They shared snacks together. So it's, it's, it's really painful. Davis believes Valentine escaped their property through the fence and made her way back home after being hurt. The incident occurred on Northwest 111th Court, but Davis is unsure who pulled the pellet gun's trigger. That person, I hope that you're happy for what you did because now we're suffering, we're hurting. Davis tells me the family tried to control Valentine's bleeding and rushed her to the vet clinic, but unfortunately it was too late. According to the x-rays, Valentine had a pellet through her spleen and kidney, leaving the family with one option. Well, unfortunately, they, we didn't really get much choice to make that decision. Um, we were told she was going into critical condition and there was no other choice but to euthanize her. We didn't want to, but we didn't want her to suffer. The family is urging neighbors with pets to be extra careful. People are cruel, you know, I hate to say that, but it's true. You don't know what people are gonna, capable of doing anymore. A spokesperson with Marion County confirms an animal control cruelty investigation is in progress. In Ocala, Zitlali Solache, TV 20 News.